As reckless as it was, I hope the Black Garden helped Nimbus navigate their pain. Perhaps even find peace. I suppose I should have expected Ikora to recover any pieces she could of Sagira. To give me that same opportunity. There are still mysteries to be solved and a trail to uncover. Our assistance here must continue. I will keep a watchful eye on Neomuna. But for now I must depart. This seems a good time to return home. To those we love. We will likely need each other for what's to come, Guardian. Now more than ever. You just bail him, bro? I've been watching you. Not like in a creepy way. I've been tracking the war on city censors. You seem terrifyingly competent. Anyway, this is where I'd usually show you around, maybe buy you a drink, but I got an incy wincy crisis. Let me just... What? No, no! Do not core dumb! Ah! Dumb machine! Ah, uh, okay. Why don't you take a look around while I get to a good stopping point? Welcome back. What'd you bring me? Hey. Okay, so, remember when you stopped Callus, saved the city, and looked good doing it? When the witness made that connection after, it rebooted all our Cloud Arc security. I guess the Vex noticed because they busted in here and blew up five of my memorial servers. The audacity, right? Each server is nano-constructed from a Cloud Strider's core drive and filled with all their logs and records. They're irreplaceable. It's not like the Vex to destroy so, so randomly. There's gotta be a connection, probably on those wrecked servers. But any data connecting these five Striders was in the servers they blew up. Long story short, your buddy Ghost has some sensors I've never seen before. So I thought maybe he could help me scrape the data? Just go take a look at those damaged memorials. See if you can pick up anything. Okay. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Step 104. Rule the Hall of Heroes audio tour. Zero edit. Side spider ring. Oh, so this is how we get the exotic glyph strider. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright. Ah, oh, the audio tour first. My bad. Welcome, Neo Muna, to the Hall of Heroes, where history lives on in you. The Earth author Peter S. Beagle once wrote, There is no immortality but a tree's love. No one dies so long as they are remembered. So join me, city archivist Quinn Ligari as we learn about the great heroes who have made our impossible city a reality. That'd be black thing. The hell's that? Hi, I'm Quinn Ligari, city archivist. It's my job to keep the past alive and help shape the future. With so much history lost to the first collapse, preserving humanity's knowledge is one of Neo Muna's highest priorities. If we do not know who we have been, can we truly decide who we shall become? I hate those things. They made me re-record all my originals. Apparently, my take on history can be too sarcastic. Sarcasm is good. Altruism. Affinity. Awareness. These aren't just the Cloud Strider ideals. They are the soul of Neo Muna. Each of the memorials filling this room is a server dedicated to the life of a fallen hero, made from their own augmented systems. Every communication and journal detailing their noble sacrifice is available not only for future Cloud Striders to study, but you as well. The truest way to honor our city's champions is by using their experience to improve ourselves. Cool. Here in the foyer of arrivals rests noble Rohan. This sacred space honors both the beauty and the grief in a hero's passing. Since lockdown, so much of our city lived vicariously through our champion, and so we feel his loss more keenly. Every Cloud Strider embraces mortality, but in the lives they save and deeds recounted, 
They are timeless. Collating social media posts about a boogeyman haunting the cloud arc is just... How do you keep a record when everyone is unreliable? Who knows? You tell me. You're the AA. The seed of each plant thrives in soil enriched by fallen leaves. All they are, from inception to fruit, is an echo of who came before. The plants grown here in the Hall of Heroes are all reclaimed species, extinct on Earth and restored on Neomuna. They are memories of a lost homeworld. Return to life thanks to the safety and prosperity our champions provide. Every drop that falls eventually reaches its end, yet the river continues on. That lone drop is simply a shape the river takes for a time. The water within rejoins the flow and continues on. Those loved ones who pass remain a part of us, forever shaping who we are and who we become. The Pukas you see throughout the Hall of Heroes are attracted to the powerful emotions of visitors just like you. Over generations, they have acclimated to their human neighbors. Cloud Striders routinely use emotional support Pukas in training and therapy. They often select the friendliest chicks from those hatched right here, among their fallen predecessors. The Founders came to Neptune in fear, desperate to survive the Collapse. The Traveler had left gardens on many planets and moons, but on Neptune, they found a harsh frontier of floating continents and dangerous storms. Compassion, cooperation, and innovation allowed them to survive just as they now allow us all to flourish. Cool. All right, let's scan these. Okay. Maelstrom. She was one of the city's greatest military leaders. Ended the Cobalt occupation before she even became a Cloud Strider. Everybody loves him now, but... Back when Blue Jay was just Conrad Jane, the whole city hated his guts. Did all kinds of illegal sim research. The Strider. She was the very first official Cloud Strider. Losing her records hurts the most. Hmm. Stargazer. Well, you probably wouldn't expect a mathematician to be a great Cloud Strider. But I hear your Ikora Ray is kind of a nerd, too. Oh. Fighting words. Siegebreaker. Telluride Magsy. He converted in the middle of the 20-year siege, and he ended it. But Vex captured his mentor, Puck. Magsy rescued Puck, but by then, the bots had stripped secrets from his brain. Old man couldn't handle the guilt. Took risks. Got hurt. That's... that's awful. And eerily similar to what Osiris went through. I wonder if Rohan learned how to counsel Osiris from... How'd that happen? Guardian, you're strand. It's... what's happening? You recreated the memorial! Nimbus said your strand power could make things, but I didn't think they meant like this. Neither did we. I guess Neomuna's emotional connection to their heroes is strong enough to anchor this strand creation permanently. I've read some academic studies on veil transcription of the collective unconscious. I bet if I put you in cryo, I could... Quinn, maybe we should focus on the Vex for now. Why they attacked and if they're coming back. Yeah, I guess you're probably more useful not frozen. Right now. Let's see if we can figure out why the Vex broke in. All right. Welcome. How's things? 